Now we want to tell you about a former cemetery owner who was arrested after investigators found he was not keeping accurate records of where bodies were found. Families of the deceased have been complaining about the conditions at that cemetery for some time. Fox 4's Larry Berger has been covering the story. Lori, you've been watching it from the beginning. What are the families saying right now? Well, Heather, you can imagine the families uh, have been emotional about this. This has been something that's been ongoing. They've been angry. They've been upset about the way that their loved ones' graves have been treated. The arrest doesn't solve all the problems, but it does bring some sense of satisfaction. For years, Yolanda Tillman has been upset about her son's grave, how his tombstone has been treated. And it has, like, chunks of semen out the sides of it now where they ran over it with the lawnmower. She's not alone. And no respect, no dignity at all. Patricia Rowland couldn't believe what she saw when she visited her father's grave. We pull up to a mess. Uh, weeds up to our, our knees and trash and we even saw an old mattress thrown out there. The state of Texas looked into the laundry list of customer complaints, including some families who could not determine where their loved ones had been buried. Following the investigation, then-owner Gerald Weatherall filed for bankruptcy and relinquished ownership. Some of the complaints Fox 4 reported became part of a separate investigation by Grand Prairie Police looking for criminal violations. Friday, following a year-long probe, police issued a warrant for Gerald Weatherall's arrest on charges that he failed to keep proper burial records. Our main concern was the family. They've been put through a lot of stress, a lot of uh, heartache and discomfort over this, and we want to make sure that they were taken care of and that justice was done. The charge is a misdemeanor, which can carry a short jail term, but a conviction more likely means probation and a fine. For him to be arrested? And to be mugshot, imprinted, to feel that pain and to feel that loss, you know, losing money, not there, humiliation. I wanted him to feel that. The charge doesn't solve the issues at the cemetery, but Yolanda Tillman says it satisfies her. At least he is receiving some type of punishment for, you know, for the mess and the disaster that he's caused at her. At least he's receiving some type of retribution. Gerald Weatherall did what's called a walkthrough on Friday. He showed up, he uh, got that mugshot taken, and he paid his $2,800 bond, and then he was released. I did speak to him by phone today. He told me that he would be vindicated when all of this is done. He says he didn't do anything wrong. Heather? All right, so, Laurie, then what about the people who can't find their loved one's graves? What's kind of the process for them? What are they supposed to do? It's a tough situation. I mean, short of digging up everything that's out there at that cemetery, it would be difficult to know at this point. And we, we may know more when this case is filed with the Dallas County DA's office. Uh, however, the cemetery no longer belongs to Gerald Weatherall, and uh, the Texas Department of Banking is what oversees those perpetual care cemeteries. So if anybody has any concerns or complaints, they would have to give that agency a call because they're the ones who are technically in charge of it now. Well, at least they have a point, place to go to somewhere, perhaps for some help. All right, Laurie, thank you.